The use of search has become embedded in our daily lives, whether it be document search for work, browsing the web, or searching files on our personal computers. The ability to find specific content, a document, or a file instantly today is a feature that has been continuously refined over the past two decades. But what about video search? Google and YouTube do allow you to find videos based upon keywords, tags, and descriptions, but the current world of video indexing is still rather surface level. Do you ever find yourself scrubbing through a long presentation or lecture trying to find the exact segment within it? For instance, which part of the economics lecture references a specific topic? Which part of the internal brainstorm meeting discusses an idea brought up by a specific team member? Which part of the investor presentation illustrates a diagram of the business model rather than the competitive analysis? Enter 12 Labs, a San Francisco and South Korea based startup whose mission is to develop the next generation of video infrastructure and essentially provide the control F function for searching within videos instead of having to scrub through the video to find the specific section you were looking for or scroll through a transcript trying to piece together the exact way something was phrased. The extent to which an AI system can comprehend the environment when it is solely focused on a singular sense, such as audio or a still image, is becoming something of the past. For instance, Facebook discovered that in order to identify fake news and hate speech, the AI needed to be developed to scan both the image and text concurrently within a post. When watching video, it would be illogical for us to focus on individual frames while attempting to make connections with a timestamp transcript. We automatically combine the visual and oral elements to build identities, intentions, cause and effect relationships, and other more complex ideas, which is not yet something that can be completely understood by AI. We produce and engage with more video media on a regular basis which makes tracking and indexing that content more and more important. Cisco estimated in 2020 that it would take more than 5 million years to watch the total video content that crosses global IP networks each month. According to Nielsen, US adults spent more than 5 hours per day watching videos in 2021, almost a third of our total waking hours. The ideas of content summarization, content moderation, and generating efficiencies across the value chain have become ever so important, especially in a macro environment where companies are running much leaner and capacity is being stretched across many projects or departments. Summarization and moderation are not only becoming increasingly important due to the increasing amount of content and inability to simply watch everything, it also allows for greater accessibility, quality of archives, and record keeping. For example, Facebook has spent billions of dollars on content moderation, as well as hiring thousands of content moderators around the world, which spend their days manually reviewing thousands of hours of video content to filter out the content that goes against their terms of service. The ability to search the entire video library for an action that occurs within all those videos could potentially save thousands of hours of manual labor, generating huge efficiencies for the company. Content moderation is just one of the many potential use cases. From digital asset management, highlight generation, workplace productivity, to recommendation engines and enabling search for end users, 12 Labs unlocks an abundance of new potential to analyze and search video libraries that are applicable in nearly every industry. In order to approach video from a multimodal perspective, 12 Labs has built a video infrastructure model that first indexes videos, analyzes the content, and then links them to specific video vectors that contain the info within those videos. It relies on AI and a neural net that is trained using billions of parameters correlating audio and video with situational context from the outset to develop a much better understanding of the content within it. It doesn't examine every frame. Instead, a simple algorithm recognizes the crucial frames, such as scene or object changes, to enable fast and scalable search almost instantaneously. 
The AI then forms temporal connections between frames to understand time and mimic human memory. When a user searches for a specific query, the AI then finds the vectors that are the closest match and automatically outputs the most relevant scenes and video file names. Their product is delivered in the form of a simple API that is designed to be incorporated into existing tech stacks, allowing the customer to continue searching through video wherever they would typically do so while getting much more accurate results. Furthermore, the API can be fine-tuned to perform better within domain-specific use cases. For instance, it can be trained to function just as well in circumstances with diagrams, sketches, or spoken jargon as it would in more typical settings like boardrooms and conventional business conversations. The company most recently launched its API Playground to allow potential customers to understand how the technology works and how it can meet their specific needs before buying the product. The 12 Labs API Playground is a no-code platform allowing any team member to use video search independently without wasting time and going through several cycles to end up with a working product. This frees up engineers to work on other initiatives that have the biggest impact on their company before they commit to becoming a customer. 12 Labs is aware that different aspects of a video are significant to businesses for various reasons, which affects how accurate it is perceived to be. Testing search results using a company's own data would be the most effective technique, and the API Playground allows businesses to establish their own metrics of success, tailored to their own data, in a quick, feasible, and effective manner. Michael Phillips, co-founder and CPO at Source Digital, stated that using 12 labs playground continually amazes me as to what i can find in all parts of a video be it the video itself the conversation or text on screen not only specific results but an understanding of the context of the query with each new search i discover new results and possibilities of the technology this type of search hasn't yet been seen in the market so 12 Labs is essentially building out a whole new category of video infrastructure. But the growth of broader video content that is driving innovation within the space suggests that the total addressable market is significant. 80% of the world's online traffic now resides in video form, according to Dex Hunter Torek, head of comms at Meta's oversight board. TikTok users spend an average of 52 minutes per day on the app. Over 500 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Zoom surpassed 300 million daily video meeting participants. Video intelligence tools are revolutionizing the way we sell and hire. Video is making up more and more of the media we interact with and create daily, and the potential market size and scalability of next generation video understanding is tremendous. There are a few competitors currently emerging in this space, and it's almost certain that the behemoths such as Netflix, Amazon, and Meta are starting to develop similar types of video search models. Google has already begun exploring the space with its Video Audio Text Transformer, or VAT project. Microsoft has developed its Azure Video Indexer that extracts actionable insights from videos such as by person, visual text, or spoken word, and a collaboration between the University of Washington and the Allen Institute for AI are developing the Merlot Reserve Neural Script that is already being trained using 20 million YouTube videos. It's rather difficult for a startup like 12 Labs to establish credibility in this space, as the team is still rather young and doesn't have 20 plus years of machine learning development experience under their belt like many potential customers may expect, which makes it tough to answer questions such as, why would I use your product instead of Google or Microsoft? Instead, they focused on winning the ICCV Video and Language Understanding Competition to establish credibility and signal that their technology is indeed the real deal. 12 Labs competed in the 2021 ICCV Value Challenge, hosted by Microsoft in which against all odds, with limited cloud GPU resources, 
a 10-person team, and limited datasets to train their model on, the company ended up winning the competition against the likes of Microsoft, Tencent, and Baidu, cementing its credibility and value proposition within the space against even some of the largest tech companies in the world. Although competitors are working on something similar, companies like YouTube and TikTok implement search that is very specific to their individual platforms. 12 Labs CEO Jay Lee stated that they're not worried about them ripping off their core tech and serving it to potential customers. Most of their beta partners have already tried these big companies' so-called solutions and then migrated over to 12 Labs due to its flexibility to build out features for specific customer segments. The company's leading benchmarks make it an attractive solution for clients to migrate to the platform with the best tech, especially during the infancy of this new technology, where trust in products have not yet been widely established. Pedro Almeida, CEO and co-founder of MindProber, stated that there's nothing in the world like 12 Labs. We've tried so-called solutions from tech giants, and 12 Labs is so far ahead of what they can do. 12 Labs was not only easy to integrate, but it finds what's valuable, and the accuracy of results is astounding. Knowing that I can reliably access any information we need in our video data opens new doors to business areas we've only imagined. After speaking to hundreds of potential customers to establish the value that video search can provide, the company has decided to target the B2B market and enterprise customers. A lot of their customers are video-centric, such as providing video infrastructure for enterprise usage or having end users on a video editing platform. The company generates revenue using both a subscription-based and consumption-based model to provide flexibility for customers. Customers can either purchase a subscription with a set amount of API usage per month, or they can pay as they go which allows them to pay for what they use on a monthly basis, similar to that of Snowflake and AWS. This gives enterprises the ability to run a smaller pilot, evaluate the impact, and scale their usage as knowledge and confidence increases or corporate requirements change. The API is also fully integrated into the existing tech stack and can be used in every subset of business operations rather than having the issue of incompatible technologies. With the huge amount of video content that is stored within enterprises, the B2B market seems much more scalable as well as being fairly sticky, as once you deploy this tech on your entire video library and the AI is trained for that specific use case, it becomes rather difficult to turn back or switch platforms where you would need to retrain the new AI to understand your domain-specific knowledge. As more customers start using the API, a reinforcing value loop should be established where the neural net should also become increasingly accurate for different use cases with more datasets to train with, which should in turn attract more customers with different use cases for the product. 12 Labs was founded by a group of friends in South Korea with backgrounds in machine learning. Since it's mandatory for South Koreans to serve for 18 to 21 months in the military, CEO Jay Lee and his co-founders joined the Korean Cyber Ops Command, where they worked in the same squad for two years, which was sort of like a startup in itself. They started indexing the dark web and found that a lot of it was video data in which they were trying to filter what mattered in terms of cyber threats to Korea. They couldn't make it work using object detection and trying to make an AI that understood video just by running detection algorithms on frames, so they began developing a new video understanding model. They had built a working prototype, but their time in the military ended before they could finish the project, and so they stuck together and thought that they could continue to build a new neural network for video infrastructure, and thus, 12 Labs was born. While the co-founders are intellectually capable and have had some experience in machine learning, they are still relatively young and lack a track record as they haven't launched or scaled a prior business in the AI space so there is a certain amount of execution risk. But they've had a good mentor in Isaac Cato, former MD at Techstar Seattle, 
who led the Mighty AI acquisition by Uber, and he has continued to help them develop the business and operational side of the company. They initially couldn't answer questions around customer discovery as they were heads down building out the tech, but Isaac made them speak with 300 potential customers to think about what value video search could provide to users, which guided them to nail down how people would use the product and would in turn answer questions regarding which direction the tech development should go. According to Kelly Tool at Index Ventures, their work is fueled by exceptional thoughtfulness and resolve. They care deeply about getting to the bottom of the real pain for customers and solving these problems in a way that encapsulates cutting edge research behind a developer friendly interface. 12 Labs underwent a $5 million seed round back in March that was led by Index Ventures, with Radical Ventures, Techstars, and Expa participating, as well as unicorn founders such as Alex Wang, founder of Scale AI, Jack Conti, founder of Patreon, and Doug Song, founder of Duo Security, which was acquired by Cisco for $2.4 billion. This capital will help them continue to build out their roadmap, which includes extending cloud-to-cloud -cloud video transfer, adding new engines to offer different types of indexing options, and data centricity, a major part of their value proposition which will allow users to further incorporate domain-specific knowledge to adapt the AI model to their various needs. Visit their website at 12labs.io to learn more about this emerging disruptor tackling the future of video search.